Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Digital Clock and I did a video on this about a year ago. Lots of new features have been added and I do really like this plugin. So in this video I'm going to run you through the different commands, how to set up the clock and the different features that it actually has. First thing you want to do is actually create the clock and to do this you type in DC create and then the name of the clock. So I'm going to call mine tester for this example. Then it tells you to place a block, wherever you place the block is where the clock is created and it's created from the block that you actually place it from. Don't worry, you can actually change this block in the future. So if you wanted to place it on the wall, you just have to place the block on it. And if you wanted it inside the wall, you place it inside like so. And as you can see, the clock's been created on the wall. And it's made out of the ID of the block that I've used. So mine's created out of this wood. So if it was facing the wrong direction when you spawn it, you can actually change the direction by typing in slash DC, then rotate the name of it, so tester, and then whichever direction, so northeast, south or west. So for this example I'll change mine to west, and then you can see that it's spawned outwards, and then all I've got to do is change it back to north, and then it's back in the position I want it. So at the moment it's currently in paused phase, and this is because I've created it. If I wanted to run the clock, all I do is type in slash dc run clock, and then the name, so tester, and now the clock's currently active. It's not changed because the time hasn't changed, but that will change to a 5 once the time changes. So at the moment it's coming together. If I decided actually wood doesn't look very good, I want to change the material. All I do is type slash DC material, and then whatever the name was, so tester, and then the block ID. So I'm going to use stone, which is 1, with a data value of 1. And as you can see, it's changed to stone. Obviously, there's these massive gaps of air currently around it. This is for if you place it on the outside, obviously you wouldn't want blocks to fill it in. Whereas mine's inside it, so I do want it to be filled in. And to fill it in, all I do is type slash DC fill the name tester and then the block ID. So mine's 172.1. And as you can see, mine's filled in. It's looking far better now. So the next thing I can do is actually change whether the time is this or or whether I want a custom time. So I want to set a custom time. So to do this, I type in slash DC, set time, tester, and then hours dot minutes. So I've changed my time to 12.12. So you can see it's updated and changed to the time I set. Obviously, I could go in and change it again if I wanted to. So 12.52, and the time will update and change. So at the moment, I've got an hour minute clock. If I wanted to change whether it was AM and PM after it, so players actually knew whether this was 12 AM or 12 PM, all I do is slash DC and then toggle AM, PM, and then the name of the clock, so tester. And you can see after it, it now says PM, so it's obviously in the evening, or AM for the morning. So what I want to do next is turn this off, so same command again, DC toggle AM PM tester. So that's now turned off, and what I want to do is add seconds after it, and to do this I type in DC toggle seconds, and then the name, so tester. And you can see now it displays seconds after it, so it looks a bit more like a proper clock now. I've got 12 hours, 53 minutes, and 30 seconds so it's going to toggle through and then the minutes will change and then the hours will change so it's performing like a proper clock now the other thing I can change is whether these little dots blink like it would on a proper digital clock and to do this I type in DC toggle blink or blinking should I say and then the name so tester and you'll see that it'll update and it now starts blinking so it's looking like a proper clock and coming together so we've currently set the time we've set whether it's AM PM we've set seconds and we've set whether it blinks the next thing I could do is actually move it if I decided this position wasn't right. All I do is DC move and then tester. And then it says moving tester has been enabled. Just right click somewhere to move your clock. So if I right clicked here you can see that it's now pasted here. Obviously terrible position to have it. So if I go place it back where it was originally. Place it here and you can see the time's back where I want it. So well, I was down a block but that'll do for now. So you can see 12.54 and 30 seconds. So that's now pasted. If I lost where a clock was and wanted to teleport to it, I can type in DC list and that will show me a list of all the clocks. I've got test and tester. And then I can do DC TP tester. And it teleports me to the corner where I created it. So I'm next to the clock. I can then see it. I can edit it. I can change bits about it if I wanted it to. 
So if I decided actually this clock's no longer needed, I could remove it or I could just stop it for a later date. And to do that, you type in DC stop clock and then whatever name, so tester. So you can see tester's now on pause. If I then decided I wanted to run it again, same again, DC, but run clock, tester. And you can see tester's now running again. And it remembers what the time would be and then updates it. So as you can see, 12.55, 21, it skipped a few seconds to get there. So it's now pretty much done. There's a couple more things you can actually change. The cool feature that's been added is to actually have a countdown clock. So to do this, you type in DC, set countdown, name of it, tester, and then the time. And this is in seconds, so 86400. And this is a 24 hour countdown. So this is one day countdown basically. So I think this is a really cool feature to have if you've got a mini game opening or something like that or an event on your server to actually have this timer counting down so players can see it. So then to start it, once again, all you do is slash DC run clock and then tester. And this countdown timer will start. So as you can see, it's got practically 24 hours until this event starts. So you can have a name above it, tell players about it. I think it's a really, really cool idea to have this. So we've currently seen how to set the time, how to change it to a countdown timer, how to move it, change the block. So I think this is a really great plugin. If you need to go over any of the features, there'll be a list of the commands in the description. But if you want to download it, there's also a download link in the description. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.